Hey Sages, welcome to April 2019. Okay, so the card that already popped out for you guys is the Eight of Swords, which is feelings of powerlessness. So feeling powerless, feeling like you have no control, no authority, no structure, no routine, and just feeling very constricted. Um, but as we know, the swords represent our thoughts. So it's only how you're thinking about a situation that's manifesting into like a physical thing. But because it was so easy to physically manifest into this feeling of powerless, um, powerlessness, it's just as easy to clear it. Okay, you just have to open your third eye because right now you're very close minded about a situation. It's like, no, I'm very stuck here and I have no other option. This is it. But it's like if you were just to uh, listen to your intuition, listen to that intuitive guidance, open your third eye. It's really as simple as that, as just saying my third eye is open. It's your intention, right? Um, if you don't believe me, I have a little test for you guys. So I slept on my back the wrong way the other day and I gave myself a self massage without using my hands. All I did was think about it. I'm like relaxing my shoulders, relaxing my shoulders. See, even now, relaxing my shoulders. And they just got so relaxed, relaxing my shoulder blade where the pain was. Literally, you can give yourself a massage just with your thoughts. So same thing with opening your third eye, it's just saying, opening my third eye, opening my third eye. See, you can do that, you can try with anything, right? Okay, let's see what's going on. Sagittarius for April, 2019. Okay, let's do this. By the way, thank you guys so much for joining me. Okay, so April 2019, let's see what's going on. Sages, we have uh, want, want. So couple this with the Eight of Swords. This is what's going on. So a lot of feeling pinned down, a lot of feeling powerless, a lot of feeling constricted, a lot of feeling like you can't begin something, you can't start something new. You know that you have to. You can feel the Aries energy, which is all about initiation, which is all about pioneering leadership and, and starting something new, but you just are very pinned down. And as mentioned before, the swords represent your thoughts. And I'm seeing a dog ear. I'm seeing a dog ear, like a, like a book. There's a book that I'm sure... I'm sure you guys have started because Sages need to learn, lifelong learners. There was a book you guys started and you dog-eared it. It's time to get back to that book because that book is going to be that catalyst for change. I think that what it did was you symbolized to the universe that you weren't willing to learn anymore. As soon as you dog-eared that book and kind of set it aside, even though it was a very good book and very informative, you set it aside because you felt like you, you had to maybe just kind of like absently did it and it signaled to the universe that you didn't want to learn and grow anymore. So just even just going back to that book, you know, straightening out that page, that dog ear and getting back to it, just reading even one line will symbol, will signal to the universe that you're ready and receptive for information. Okay. Because that's where you guys are stuck. Like I said, you guys are lifelong learners. The learning has has halted a bit. And this is a seven universal month in, uh, when it comes to numerology. Seven is all about study. It's all about inner analysis, research, and isolation to study. So although it's a three year, which is all about socializing um, and getting outside and being more communicative, that seven energy is really pulling you guys back, really pulling you back. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so the pin down feeling is coming from the Queen of Cups, which is a female water sign. So that is female Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, somebody who's very subcon uh, subconsciously linked to you. So it's a karmic relationship. Um, somebody who's very intuitive. They're, they're dreamers. Like it's almost like sometimes you'll be looking at them and they'll be zoned out. And it's like, hello, are you there? And it's just because they can really zone, go into their own dreamlike stance. And that's because they're so connected to their subconscious. Um, you know, they're very guarded and they hide their emotions. But you've seen into the vastness of their emotions. You were able to look in at one point 
but it was too much for you. It was way too much where you're like, listen, like this is too deep. This is too emotionally deep and you had to pull yourself back a little bit. So this person is the obstacle and the aid when it comes to you feeling very pinned down, feeling very um, stuck and feeling like you're bleeding out for the wrong reasons, um, mainly when it comes to your support. Like it's it's like you're bleeding out when it comes to um, feelings of support, like you're giving way more when it comes to supporting other people uh, than they're giving to you, especially this Queen of Cups. Subconsciously, we have the soulmate here, soulmate card, which always pops up for you guys. Um, this person is directly related to your energy. There's something about them that you guys connect on that energetic level. Um, and that's because you guys were either family or best friends in a past life. Past life, you guys were inseparable. So either like, um, you know, parent and young child energy, best lifelong friends energy, you know, spouse energy, something where you guys would have been connected for a very long time. Um, subconsciously that energy is still lingering about and that's another reason why you're feeling so pinned down when it comes to the support because subconsciously you've been so supported in a past life when it comes to this um, soulmate relationship that now all other forms of su support it feels like lackluster you're like why can't you you instinctively on a subconscious level know what true support feels like so the support that you're getting right now, especially from the Queen of Cups, it's so brutal in comparison because you're comparing it to something that is karmically uh, detailed. So maybe just releasing a little bit of that and just saying, I know that this Queen of Cups can't support me like my soulmate did in a past life. And I, I release that and I say they're supporting me in the way that they need to support me. So you're thinking about something new. You're thinking about new message new email, new idea, new growth, you know, just starting something new. You're going to feel that that Aries new energy, right? But there's something with these water signs that are really pinning you down. These water signs, young masculine water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and then the older female water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Yeah, there seems to be like, I'm seeing like a j j j yeah, so you guys are waiting for some sort of message, some sort of sign in order to free yourself from this energy from the water signs. And this is where you guys are at right now. Very, very kind of weighing out the pros and cons of a relationship. Weighing out the benefits and the downsides when it comes to this relationship. Because although you're feeling very powerless, you know that you need to make a step forward. You know that you got to go and do something. And you're really weighing that out right now, figuring out what you need to do. The super full moon in Libra on March 20th would have brought up some issues in a relationship that needs to be harmonized. Um, so it's really what you want to do with that. You can either keep going the way that's been going, or you can say, this is now an opportunity for me to balance some things out. Now that kind of the dust is, is really fluffed right now. And you know, the dust is in the air and it's stirred. So now I have that opportunity to say, okay, I want the dust to land here. I'm going to take that dust and land it here. So it does, or I'm going to clean the dust, you know, so it doesn't land. So it doesn't settle back to where it was, uh, just jumbled up. So you guys are definitely kind of doing a balancing act right now. Family and friends, they want to support you. They want to give to you um, in, in a supportive way. I think the, the way that your family and friends are supporting you is more in physical things as opposed to emotionally or spiritually or, you know, lovingly. It's more, what can I do for you? Um, and that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. So if you can kind of just say, well, maybe I'll just, uh, you know, get support in that way instead of asking for it emotionally or, or mentally or you know financially if i can just get support when it comes to can you just you know go to the store for me or or help me move or help me with this like something that they can actually physically do that's really the only level of support you're going to get from your family and friends and that's another cause of frustration when it comes to that subconscious uh soulmate energy of support because your soulmate 
supported you in all aspects. There was never any question. So now it's just kind of feeling very frustrated that you need to sacrifice and kind of be okay with giving up support in all aspects and only getting it in, in the physical sense, okay? Hope and fear is queen of pentacles. So an earth sign that's been kind of on your back. You hope that the relationship could improve, but you fear it as well, okay? Is this another person that adds to your list of feeling powerless is another person that's just another migraine in your life yeah it's time to really analyze all of your relationships and weed out the dead weed out the dead ones you know that are just not serving your highest good um doesn't matter if it's family i know that that sounds so i'm a moon in aquarius so it may sound incredibly emotionally detached um but in my opinion if it's not serving your highest good and you're not getting anything positive from the relationship and you're then not acting in alignment with the person that you want to be because you feel like you have to be a shadier person in order to match their energy, then you're not helping the world. You're not helping the world at all. You're only benefiting this one person that needs you to be that type, right? To be the, to play into that characteristic. So this Queen of Pentacles is just pulling your energy, pulling down your vibe, um, making you feel less than your perfect, amazing, optimistic, larger than life, joyful self. Cut them. At least cut them for now and, and really assess your life after they're gone. And if there's that much of an improvement, then you can let them go with love for good, you know, and say, you know, thank you so much for everything that you've, you've gained. You've taught me. I've gained so much from a relationship. You know, thank you next type deal. You know, thank you, but goodbye. If you do put a little bit of a break space in between your relationship with this queen of pentacles, which is a female earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, if you find that you're actually missing their sense of dependability, reliability, their grounding energy, you can slowly introduce them back in. But as it stands right now, your relationship with them should be kaput until you can assess the, the foundation of your partnership and then go from there. Because there's so many people on the board. We have two cups, one pentacles, and the outcome, which is a king of wands. So like I said, you're going, you're definitely going to be feeling very pinned down April 2019. You're going to be thinking that you're waiting for some sort of message or a sign or something to move forward. And what that does is the message comes, but it's coming from um, another masculine fire sign. So another uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius comes in. And this is somebody that you've never felt like you've measured up against. And it's almost like, wow, like maybe I actually can get more support from you than I thought initially. So you, this person comes into your life and it just brings you to a place of independence, security, feeling great independent as well, just feeling very secure in your own independence as opposed to looking at other people. Um, and you're finally gonna realize that the only support that you've ever needed is the support that you have within yourself. Because if you're not with your soulmate, you know, and you're not getting that support from there, then it has to come from within. It has to come from yourself. And all you can do is just embody the energy that your soulmate would have left, right? So I hope you guys have an amazing April 2019. As always, please comment, like, subscribe, share. And if you want a personalized reading, my details are below. I use astrology and numerology in all my readings. Thank you, Sages, and I will see you May 2019. Bye, guys.